Okay, so I probably make, you know, I make, you know, another 20% or 25% of income off of all those little deals, which would, which would make up for what I would be getting in the extra Amazon search. So it is, it is not in my best interest right now to, to sell anything on Amazon. The other way that guys tell you to, to make money on Amazon is, you know, doing the volume, which is basically, um, I wouldn't say quite a scam, but I would say it's quite unethical. It's where you, um, I'm not going to mention any names here, but it's where you basically create like a hundred pseudonyms. Um, you were able to do this at one point. I don't, I don't know if you're still able to do it now. So the course might, might not even be worthwhile or, you know, moving into the future, I'm sure Amazon will crack down on this, but you're, you're able to create pseudonyms, you know, five or, you know, three or five or seven in your account and you create another account under somebody else's name and you're writing another 10 pseudonyms or I don't know exactly how it works, but I know that you have like a hundred pseudonyms and you're writing, you're basically writing a garbage book where you just collate a bunch of, um, information off Google search. You send it to someone in the Philippines who puts it together for cheap. You sell it for cheap and you make like three or four dollars a book and you, but you rent like thousands of garbage books. Okay. The problem with that is one, you're putting out a garbage product Two, you're, you're, um, gaming the system and creating like false personas, right? Like some, some of these guys advocate like, you know, a pseudonym that's, that's a doctor. Okay. And you're writing a book with, which is like a natural cancer cure. And so you're pretending to be a doctor and selling like a garbage natural cancer cure book to people with, with cancer. Like that to me is super unethical. Like even though there might be some useful information there, you've just stolen it off Google and repackaged it. You didn't even write the book. There's going to be typos in it because, you know, someone from the Philippines wrote it and then you're, you're gaming the review system by going like, Facebook review groups where you're trading reviews off and it's just dirty and, and that to me is unethical and it probably won't even work very well because you're like literally you're gonna be making like five dollars a month off a book like to make five grand you're gonna have to release like a thousand you know, like a thousand books I don't know like how much it is but like you know probably a thousand if not more okay like it's super unethical and dirty and who knows how long that that's that's gonna last um and you probably paid a fair amount for whatever the guy's course is so i i wouldn't recommend that method either um not to say that kindle isn't useful okay not to say that kindle isn't useful you can definitely make some money and if you have a big brand you can make money off kindle for sure especially at launch um but I would say Kindle at this point, something Kindle books is, is as useful, if not more useful just for lead generation. Okay. Where you can write, um, you know, I bought a couple of Grant Cardone's books, you know, they were like four 99 and it's like be obsessed or be average. And you know, books like that where it's not a ton of depth, but it's, it's good ideas and it's cheap. And it's like an introduction to that guy. Now, James Altucker has his book, choose yourself on sale for, I think, $199 or $299. And I can't imagine he makes more than a couple grand a month, even though it's a bestseller. Maybe he makes three or four grand, but he's got a huge blog, and it's and it's an introduction to James Altucker. It's an introduction to his blog. It's an introduction to his more expensive products. And, you know, it's a lead generation magnet, which I think is smart. It's, it's using Amazon and sort of writing that book as like a business card and making some money off of it on the side. Um, it's something that I, I might do moving into the future, converting some of my books into sort of those lead generation magnets while making some money on them. But um, it will be when I'm not relying on eBooks for money, which will probably be in the next couple of years as I'm doing more coaching and video courses and, and the YouTube advertising and all these other things. Um, and, and I'm able to do that. Okay. The other thing to watch out for, and this is just my guess, but I, with Kindle Unlimited, which is where you make a percentage of, you know, basically Kindle Unlimited is, is you launch your book and, and people subscribe to Amazon for like $10 a month on Kindle Unlimited and they're able to read books on there for free. So you're not actually making money on the book sale. You're making like a small percentage on how much people read of your actual book, how many pages or whatever. And you're 
that's another area where you're going to make even less than the already small amount that, that most people are making on Kindle. I also see that as, as probably or possibly where Kindle is going in the future. Because if you look at Spotify right now, it's like people used to buy music, right? I don't buy any music anymore. I just pay $10 a month for Spotify and I'm able to stream all the music that I want and the artists make a certain amount. But they make way less than they used to and they make the majority of their money from touring now. I see that as perhaps the future of, of Kindle where um, you know it, it is moving to a subscription model with less money for the authors as more content floods in. And um, I'm, I, I, would, I would guess that's how it's going to go in, if, you know, in 10 years, if not five, six, seven years. I see the pie getting, I see um, money on Kindle, the small money getting even smaller in the future. Not, not that it's not useful, okay? Still definitely useful, still can make some money. If you have a big following and wrote a big book, you can make, you know, some decent money. But um, I just want to give you guys the realistic assessment of what to expect also, by the way, I'm not advocating my method of selling ebooks. Okay, I know I, how I told you that I make, I probably make more than, you know, a good chunk of Kindle authors because I'm able to charge more and whatnot, but I still don't think the ebook model is good. Um, you know, I started my website, RLD, RevolutionaryLifestyleDesign.com. I started the blog in 2012. Uh, blogging and ebooks was still a viable method. Um, I don't think it is moving forward in the future. It's still the majority of my money, but in the future, I'm going to be relying a lot more. I'm going to be doing courses. I'm going to be um, YouTube advertising, advertising on podcasts, um, coaching, seminars, just blowing, build, building a br bigger brand. And, and of course, I'll still have ebooks and stuff like that, but definitely not advocating that as a future model, like build a blog and, and, and eBooks. Um, if you're going to sell anything, I think video courses now are the way to go. You know, you can do a hundred dollar video course, $200 video course, make a lot more money doing that. Um, but even then, okay, this is the last point. I don't see a particularly huge bright future for paid content. I mean, there's just a terrific amount of good content on YouTube for free right now. Okay. I have, a ton of good YouTube content for free. Um, a ton of other guys do between piracy and the amount of material that's being uploaded online daily. Okay. Like in the last year, I think more videos were uploaded than ever before in all the other years combined. Um, I think the future of making cash online, as far as like branding goes, is, is going to be, you know, subscription models, it's going to be advertising, it's going to be sponsorships, it's going to be selling physical goods like clothing or supplements, it's going to be coaching, speaking, seminars, um, private Facebook groups and, and, and forums and stuff like that. And I mean, I think you'll, there will always be a room for paid content, but I just see it, it's going to be, it's going to be less. Um, and you know, that, that, that's just my perspective on it. So, you know, it's definitely something to, to look out for. But as far as Kindle goes, I mean, I hope, I hope that gives you sort of like a, um, a more real, realistic assessment. Okay, I don't want to sound too pessimistic for you guys, but I just want you to know what to expect. I mean, this is, this is why I tell you guys like, okay, it's cool to build up a brand and do that, but like, it's so competitive. It takes so long. And, and this is why I recommend most of you guys doing a service-based business, selling coaching or marketing or something like that. Yes, you're selling your time for money, but you can make a lot more money while you're building up your brand um, than, than trying to sell the, the info products. It, it is difficult. And I'm speaking to, the, to you as someone who's like, who's making, you know, I'm in the top 1% or 0.01% of what I make off, off info, info products a month, at least for now. Um, so you know, it's definitely something you guys have to understand, especially in regards to Kindle. 